Hi, I'm Steven from Herp Care 101. Today we're going to be discussing Fire Belly Toad Care. Now for the tank size. Here we have a 10 gallon tank which can easily fit up 6 to 8 Fire Belly Toads. Now for plants and decor. You don't need any climbing plants, you want to have more ground plants. Here we just have some moss, but you can add plastic plants or silk plants or even some live plants. Now for hiding and climbing. You want to have a hiding spot that every animal can fit in. Here we just have a little log carved in half. Now time for the water dish. This is a terrestrial tank for the fire belly toads. So we have a big deep water dish. Which is excellent for them and is what they need for the terrestrial tank. Now it's time for feeding. You, you want to feed them small crickets, something that is as small as the space in between their eyes. You don't want to feed them any mealworms or waxworms because the, their shell, their exoskeleton, can be hard for them to digest. Now time for handling. These are more of a look at pet. They shouldn't be handled very much because they have a slight amount of poison in them. But whenever you do handle them for like cleaning their tank or something, you want to spray your hands down. And you don't want to hold them at all for a long period of time. Now it's time for shedding. When they shed, it's not at all a big deal. All they do is just shed and then eat their skin. Now it's time for lighting and heating. I honestly don't have a UV light on them right now, but you should have one. Also, we have a heat pad under here to bring the temperatures up. You want the temperatures in a terrestrial tank to be 68 or higher and for the water tank, semi-aquatic tank, you want to have the water temperature to be at least 78 degrees. And thanks for watching.